uh, the end of the last session I mentioned the fourth and fifth uh, members terms in your in the formal definition right so for so this is your start state just one in an automaton just one start state okay? and five F capital F that's the set of accept states and uh, those that set of states they will be a subset of BQ remember BQ is the set of all states in your automaton so your uh, accept states will be a subset of those uh, states right? so F is a subset of Q right? and F is the you know, set of accept states uh, now some some authors uh, they, they may have used that term before, aka, uh, short for, also known as, uh, in other words, synonymous. Now, some, some authors, um, they not only use the, the term accept states, they also use the term final states. But uh, when I first saw that, I, I, I didn't like that, because you, you've, you've heard me using uh, the term final state to... Uh, to mean the state that you end up with after reading the last symbol in your input stream. Now that, that seems to me, you know, that use of the word, very useful. Uh, like you, then you can say, as I've been doing, that uh, the final state is or is not an accept state. Okay? So I don't like this. Okay? And, and you know, Simpson in the text says, uh, Anyway, uh, I, yeah, I strongly suggest yeah, just use accept states. Uh, don't don't use final states to mean an accept state, because uh, the word final state is so useful. Uh, it's be because you can refer to it as the last state um, resulting from having read the last symbol in your input stream. And then if the final state is equal to is 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 one of the um, of, of, of F, if you like, if uh, the final state is an, an accept state, then your string has been accepted by the automaton. Right? Okay, now, uh, now I made this point a bit before, but now we can do it in a bit more detail, because now we have the specific uh, the formal definition you know, with a, as, a, as a five tuple in terms of Q, capital Q, capital Sigma, Delta, Q0, and capital F. And we have this five tuple that um, describes, specifies, uh, defines, you know, it's a formal definition, the, the automaton that you're talking about. And we'll do some actual examples you know, uh, a, bit, a bit later. Right? Now, uh, once, once you have that precision, because the formal definition is quite precise, you can now answer uh, certain ambiguous questions. Like, for example, uh, can you have zero accept states? Is that possible? Um, well, let F be... Uh, now, it's a subset of Q. Now, one subset of Q is the, uh, the empty set. This. So if f is that, the empty set, then there are no accept states. Now if you think about what that means, that means that all strings get rejected. Right? Because that means you know, uh, no string going in will ever be accepted because uh, the final state is always not an accept state. Because there aren't any accept states, there are zero of them. Okay? So uh, it answers that question. Yes, you you can have uh, an automaton with zero uh, accept states, because given the definition, we could have we could make f be uh, the empty set. Right? That's possible. So therefore, it's allowed by by the precision of the definition of you know, your your five tuple, the formal definition. Uh, and the other question we were asking was um, for a given. Uh, for a given current state and a given um, symbol 
you know, that, that you're currently reading in the input string. Uh, can you have more than one uh, next state? And the answer is no. Uh, it has to be one. And that 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 comes out of the definition of uh, of your third term. So your from your transition function. Now, um, now it's a function, and a function by its nature, in pure math, function always maps to just one element of your range, one element of the range, and that is, and hence that answers your question. So there's only one, uh, next state, right? So, uh, because delta, colon, you can read it out, capital Q, cross, you know, X, uh, capital Sigma, arrow, Q. It's the definite, that's a function. So your map, your domain is the Cartesian product of Q cross Sigma. So that maps ordered pairs into one element of Q. So hence, in other words, uh, one uh, next state, just one, right? So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying here. Okay, now, now let's start using it. Now we've, we've defined what the definition is. <laughs> we've created the form definition. And now let's use it to describe a, uh, a particular automaton. In fact, uh, we can describe in formal terms now with our five tuple uh, the M1 that we've been using so far. So I've, ri I've written out the state um, diagram again. Remember state is short for state transition diagram. So it's, it's because it's more than just about states, it's also about the transitions. So state transition diagram. And that's a mouthful, so just you know, for short, um, you know, usually just talk about a state diagram. And here it is again. So this is M1 again. Okay. Uh, so let's describe M1 using our formal definition with the five tuple. Okay, so here it is. It's, here's, here's M1 written now uh, as a five tuple with the formal definition. So Q sigma delta Q. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah our Q naught. Remember in the formal definition, the Q naught was. Uh, Represented the start state, you know, just one state. Well, in our case for M1, Q0 is Q1. Right? Remember, in our, in our automaton M1, we have three states, and it, the start state is Q1. So the start state goes here. So your Q0, that was the generic start state, if you like, uh, becomes Q1. So that's, that's why it's Q1 here. Uh, now, the set of states, you know, big Q, well, it's just Q1, Q2, Q3, pretty pretty obvious, okay? Uh, now sigma, uh, remember, capital sigma, remember what that is? That's your alphabet, right? And what's an alphabet? It's the set of allowed symbols that can appear in your input string. Now, uh, M1, its input is a binary string. So uh, your alphabet will be just the set of 0 and 1. Okay, so that's sigma, pretty obvious. Okay. Uh, now, here, 